Hi there. Welcome to the basic usage tutorial for the PKC. The first thing I'm going to want to do is log in. So I click log in with Ethereum wallet and I follow these dialogue prompts through. You'll see MetaMask asks me to sign this request and then I can authorize my login attempt into the PKC. You see my wallet address here, 0xef5b and that's the same as my working wallet address, 0xef5. Now, the next thing we want to learn how to use is the verify page extension and the link for that will be in the video description. So I have a page in my PKC where I want to verify the data. I click on the extension and I click here on verify page and you'll see for a moment the hourglass there pops up and that's telling me it's checking the revision history for this document. This document only has one revision and we can see it checks out and I've verified the page integrity. Now, this page is a case study for scientific publishing. So in the case that perhaps they'd like me to sign some data which they sent over, I can do that again within the tool by clicking here on the drop down and then clicking on sign. And uh, if those of you that are familiar with PGP signatures, and that's essentially what we're doing here. And I'm using my MetaMask wallet again to sign the document cryptographically. Again, the applications here are uh, any legal agreement that you make where you would use a real signature, you can also use your cryptographic identity. And of course, this is much more secure uh, and much more difficult to forge. Now, if I scroll down to the bottom, I'll see data accounting signatures and I'll see this signature by my wallet that I've just made, 0xef5b. Thank you for watching.